Welcome to this webcast on the core principles of quality systems. I'm Louise Handy, Chairman of the RQA, Director of Handy Consulting and author of the Quality Systems Workbook. This webcast provides a brief introduction to quality systems. Quality systems will vary between organisations and may be tailored to specific regulatory requirements or be driven by the needs of a business, be their commercial organisation or otherwise. However, there are core elements central to all quality systems. This webcast introduces four core principles and indicates their importance in developing and implementing effective quality systems. These principles can be applied to quality systems in any type of organisation. Quality systems are founded on four core principles then, managing, planning, delivering and measuring. The first principle is managing. Organisations must manage their physical and human resources to ensure that plans can be converted to delivery. Activities must be managed so they are under effective and visible control. An activity is any organised piece of work such as a study, project or testing campaign. Individual tests will be conducted according to standard procedures or instructions. And plans are about how the tests are organised within the activity. The second principle is planning. All research and development should be a planned process, not a series of random occurrences. Planning is a continuous process, not an event. It controls the predictable and reacts to the unpredictable to ensure that the process is under control at all times and that there is clear understanding of cause and effect. Planning needs to happen for every activity to be undertaken. The third principle is delivering. Management and plans come together to provide the environment in which effective research and development is delivered. Delivery must ensure that inputs and processes are controlled to minimise or remove variability and that outputs such as results, reports, papers and so on are robust and reliable. The fourth and final principle is measuring. It's important to measure the actual output against the planned aims. Equally important is the setting of acceptable standards for the performance of the work and ensuring that there are mechanisms to demonstrate that these are met or exceeded. Such measurement includes actions known as internal quality control and internal performance assessment, as well as independent confirmation of the acceptability of the activity and its output. The core principles are not about the specific content of the quality system, but about its organisation and management. The two biggest enemies to successful Im implementation come in the form of statements like, I don't understand the system. I don't understand why we need the system. So it's really, really important to keep it simple and relevant. These statements can be used as an excuse to avoid engaging with the quality system. The antidote to these statements is to A, keep the system simple and B, understand and explain clearly why each requirement is necessary. One of the surest ways to fail from the start is to have even the slightest whiff of unnecessary bureaucracy. Developing lots of documents can be seen to equate to this. In practical terms, it's useful to start a quality system with the essentials and move forward from there. These core principles of managing, planning, delivering and measuring provide structure for any quality system, regardless of the environment or organisation. 
What is critical is understanding the drivers to implement a quality system so it can be built to meet those needs. It's vital to keep all the stakeholders involved and to keep the system relevant to the circumstances of each individual organisation and to keep the quality system simple. Further information can be found in the free Quality Systems Workbook and other booklets and courses from the RQA. Please take a look at the website at www.therqa.com. On the website, you can also learn more about RQA, the Global Association for Quality Professionals. Goodbye and thank you for listening.